Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to unwrap the brand new uh, Band of Brothers Texas Arrows. Now, the Ghost Panzer and Screaming Eagle sets uh, both are, have been remastered. This is the first time this has made an appearance. It's been eagerly awaited for years, and now it comes out as part of the uh, the new and improved Band of Brothers set. Um, like the other two uh, remastered versions of the series, thicker box. This one. It's also two and a half, about two and a half inches. Yep, about two and a half inches. So they all stack neatly on the on the table. Artwork, I mean, when you're on the table or on your shelf, but the artwork is really nice. And this one's going to be all new for everybody. So very cool. What we're going to get. Let's just go ahead and dig right in. Let's see what we can see. So they're gonna look whew, a lot of game in here. So pop it open. Here we go. First thing on top scenario book. This is gonna go from number 33 to 44. Uh, the first two games go one through 32. So this one's giving you about 12 new, uh, 12 new scenarios. Um, one thing again, I've mentioned in the other videos, but in case you're just watching this one first, is with the Kickstarter. Uh, they released all the scenario cards on cardstock. Um, so you don't have to flip open the book, you know, fold it over, do all that kind of nonsense. You can just pull out the cardstock sheet, kind of like uh, Combat Commander did after its initial release, which GMT needs to re release the uh, initial scenarios on cardstock as well. So that's a hint to them if they're watching. Anyway, so then the series rule book. Again, this rule book is the same as going to be in. Uh, Screaming Eagles and Ghost Panzer, um, because it's now a series rule book. This is how you play Band of Brothers, and then the scenarios take care of themselves, which is a great, great system like that a lot. And you get your player cards at two, and the card stock. And then here with Screaming Eagles, you get your boards, you get another, you get a tray for storage. And comes out it's small enough, it's snug enough that it's not going to move around a lot, but it's loose enough that you can get your hand in there. Take it out. It's got six. Uh, there's my camera. Hey, camera. It's got six spaces to store uh, dice counters, so on and so forth. Probably will make dividers to go in here, like I did for Conflict of Heroes, uh, just to be able to subdivide the this place is a little bit more, but it's a lot nicer than it used to be when you try to stick them into a GMT tray, and then that wouldn't go in the box. So. That's very nice. So now we're going to, apparently you don't get any, uh, well, let's just check. It looks like you don't get any units in uh, Texas Arrows. Band of Brothers had, oh, excuse me, Screaming uh, Scream Eagles had Texas Arrows counters in them. So this one little thing that's kind of disappointing about a, about a uh, uh, series rule book is that you don't get specifics for the for the system you just bought. Now this is required though to have Band of Brothers, either Ghost Panzer or uh, Screaming Eagles. So, no, oh, no, this one counters. I take it back. I was wrong. So, now this is interesting. I have one sheet here, one map sheet that is not mounted. Oh wait a minute! I think I know what they did. They provided these with Texas Arrows for the people who already have the old system and just bought Texas Arrows. They were very cognizant of people who would be mixing this with the old version, very thoughtful of them. So this is, in fact, you can see it right here. Here's map 25 on the new and improved thicker board, but they included a copy on the uh, cardstock so you can mix and match if you have the old system. Well done, but man, Look at the difference in the artwork. So that's got just terrain lines, and this has got nice shadowing. Just a completely different feel. Same map, same layout, but just a totally different feel with the new ones. So that's there, but this is where it's going to be. So, all right. So you do get you get one map. 
uh, and then you do get counters, so I'm wrong there. I thought I was getting more maps than counters. So one map plus the maps that come in the other game, because you do have to have this as an expansion. So the counters look great. The one inch counters, again, well registered. You have to you do have to separate them yourself. They're not pre-punched, uh, and you do have to round them if you want them to have that nice clean look with the Oregon laminations, 2.5 millimeter corner rounder. Deluxe, it's awesome. So they come right out, though. I'm seriously, they just they just want to jump out at you. So they uh, come off pretty easy. But you can get rid of that with the corner rounder. Uh, German, American units, good. Uh, so yeah, it looks like you get you get all units here. You don't get any uh, additional markers because you're again this is an expansion. So we'll be using the markers from the other games. So they look good. They look really good. Excited to get this one going. So that is what you get inside of the long-awaited Texas Arrows expansion to Band of Brothers, Ghost Panzer, and Screaming Eagles. Thanks for watching. We'll have more soon.